What's up, shooters? My name is Logan, aka Spiderhands, and welcome to an SP Reviews, where today we have ourselves a track from an act named J Slow titled Rhythm of the Rain. And if we switch over to here, we have ourselves a track on YouTube, and we're going to listen through it from start to finish, and we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. It's nice to have the rain foley with the guitars. Kind of a nostalgic tone to the way the vocals are filtered with the guitar, bass, and drums, eh? Ah, lead part, good. I like the fact that we have a bit of fluidity and moving around the fretboard on behalf of the bass. I'm just wondering if the bass guitar is just a little bit too present in the mix. I mean, like the, the chord progression here, the lead lines, the drums are really palatable. I like the vocal melodies. I think that we're in a good position in the Freaksy Spectrum and in the arrangement to have them. It's. I'm wondering if we could have had a little bit more presence and low end in the mix in order to give them a bit more, kind of like, um, like a bit more body to it. It's a rhythm of the rain. But it's a solid first impression. I, I, I appreciate a lot of what we're trying to do here. I mean, like, the guy seems like, I mean, I mean this genuinely, by the way, the guy seems like he's having a great time making this song and the video and everything like that. He seems like he's got people around him who are supportive as well, which is awesome. You need that as a musician. You really do. 
So this was released on the 18th of March on all major streaming platforms, um, local Texas music. Uh, I'll remove myself for a moment. We've got Jacob Caminati on bass and guitars, Derek Young on bass and, guitar bass and guitars, and then Jeff Slocum on drums and, and vocals from Trackhouse, uh, <laughs> Trackhouse Music Productions. So I, I like a lot of what I'm hearing here. I, I'm, we're gonna talk about that more in the conclusion after we've had a check through the lyrics. And uh, we've got the lyrics here for this track, titled Rhythm of the Rain from J-Slow. Late at night, the city is fading. All right, so like we seem to find peace with the rain. That's kind of, that's kind of nice. It's the rhythm of the rain, my sweet lullaby, as it taps in my glass in the darkness. I like that. I dig it. I think there's kind of a sweetness to the rain at night time that a lot of people will be able to appreciate. Just the sound of it can be very soothing, so I understand that. In the heart of the city where the music flows, the DJ spins and the energy grows. With every drop that falls, a new story unfolds where old hearts are consoled. So we're saying that like at night time, we can also have like those DJ or like live music events there where people can sort of connect and appreciate what's going on with that. With every drop, with every song that's before people can get lost in the music. Is that the kind of thing we're trying to insinuate here? Yeah. We'll dance through the night in a neon light. It's the rhythm of the rain will take flight. I, I get it, right. So there's like a rhythm to the rain and then we're sort of comparing it to the rhythm of the music that the DJ is playing. As the night turns to dawn, we'll be dancing on. Oh, no worries, are gone, the rhythm of the rain. Uh, it's rhythm of the rain, my sweet lullaby. Um, okay, I get it. We're gonna talk about this more in the conclusion. Because welcome to the conclusion of my review of this track from an act named Jay Slow, titled Rhythm of the Rain. Now, what do I think the song is about? I think it's about someone who is talking about their experience with like rain at night, time of getting lost, carried away by like the sweetness of the sound of it. Um, I, actually, I'm just gonna like make sure we haven't missed anything with the, the video. Um, there we go. Just for the sake of just transparency, making sure we, we got all of that. But yeah, if we go back a little bit, um, to where we had the the nice view of that call um it's a situation where we were talking about the rain and kind of getting carried away by it we we also had this part um where we were talking about being out in nightclubs and bars and stuff like that and kind of equating that nighttime experience to being in a situation where you're with other people and you're getting lost with the music that's being played by the dj so i think that trying to equivocate the rhythm of the music combined with like potentially the nostalgia, the nostalgia that's invoked by the music that the DJ is playing, or at least like getting lost in like the the melodies, so to speak, um, and the neon lights is I, I can I can understand the relation between those. So I think that's what the track's about. The vocals were solid. We had some really um, good ideas for melodies and like the chorus and verse sections there. I didn't always get the words through clearly. Part of that I think was because we didn't necessarily have enough um, body in the low in the mid range there to kind of carry some of those syllables and consonants through. But at the same time, if we were going for more of our head voice, that's totally fine. We, we seem very comfortable in our head voice there. The vocal technique, I could appreciate what we were trying to do there. Um, there was nothing inherently wrong with it, I don't think. Um, there wasn't a lot of kind of crazy sort of like legato sort of like the tails or anything like that but we didn't really need that here it was enough to, to get the point across be nice to listen to and i, I think in in general it's a really good start you know a really good start the track itself at four minutes 05 is carried by the vocals and the verse and the chorus combined with the guitar bass and drum parts for the guitars we typically had strummed chords there you know with different eighth and sixteenth note patterns there typically major and minor chords with some slide guitars and lead licks occasionally and dispersed throughout and the breaks we didn't have the vocals which is which is fine it's nice to trade off leads there i think we also had a dedicated sort of solo section there as well with with the bass guitar um, typically sitting in that low end there ruminating around the the scales and modes relevant to it but but also occasionally going up the the fretboard to go up into those high ranges just before transitions between sections and the drums we had a nice groove where it was typically you know sticking to our eighth note accents there but we occasionally had 16th note patterns on the kicks and snares and stuff like that and typically the kicks uh, with with very occasional fills i don't remember there being a lot of fills but but if they were like uh, there, there was no issues with any of the instrumental performances. And I think that the way that we fleshed out the track in regards to the structuring of the different sections combined with what was going on 
where the transitions between instrumental and vocal parts was solid. You know, like it was a good use of time. There was no filler within it. I think it was how well handled. The the overall theme from those major and minor chords combined with the slow tempo groove of the well, wasn't really slow, was it? It had a bit of kick to it, a bit, a bit of pep to it, but it was a very soothing sound overall. Like the guitars had a really sort of satisfying tone to them. They were almost kind of wistful and like kind of dreamy sounding with the reverbs. And it was similar to the effect we had on the vocals. We had some sort of like ping pong delay or something like that to kind of make it sound like an old school kind of recording. Um, but which I appreciate it almost sounds dreamlike which is you know part of what we're talking about with like the rhythm of the rain and everything but you know the bass was nice and f full uh, almost too present in certain parts I think the bass guitar was a little bit too present in the mix but that's okay that's all right um, aside from that I think everything else was was good things uh, yeah there was no things were niched nicely in the different octave ranges and as I was mentioning the theme overall of the track sounds because of the combination of that and plus like it, it's like there were major and minor chords and they made a it was a relaxing easy listening song that didn't try to add any sort of harsh textures or uncomfortable moments there it was meant to be pleasing to listen to really comfortable kind of like a, you're wrapped up in a cozy cozy blanket if that makes sense and i kind of enjoy that there was a little bit of bite to it with some of the lead lines and stuff like that but there were no elements here which were kind of like uh jarring and i think that when we talk about the kind of stuff we were discussing within the vocals and the lyrics it makes a lot of sense there was connection between the elements there and i think that it was a nice organic performance without a note out of place the studio recording mixing and mastering is where most of my um i suppose constructive criticism would come in i i think as i mentioned i think the bass guitar was a little bit too present in the mix generally the leveling was was good I'm wondering if we could have separated elements further to try and make the mix a bit wider there. It seemed like some of the parts were kind of very centered around the middle of the stereo field. If we could have the parts like hard pan to the light lift to the right, or if we aren't already, if we could like double track the rhythm parts on the guitar, when we might have already been doing that, or like have the guitar on one side and then another like lead instrument or whatever on the other to kind of make it bigger, if that makes sense. I think as well, the panning decisions there, would have made the vocals more present if they'd had more space to fluctuate but at the moment i think there's so much stuff going on near the mid that it kind of sounds like most of the stuff is in the same area and therefore i think that's also part of why the vocals weren't necessarily as easily discernible with that said though i think it's also part of how the vocals were filtered this isn't me saying anything was done badly these are just like for, for next time kind of things you know um as i don't think they're mixing i, th I think the production in general it was it was good i i think there's just I'm just saying like I, there's just things we could have potentially done differently and ultimately I, st I think that if we were going for more of an old school recording style and production style where things weren't as clean sounding and kind of like um, I don't know like overly polished there's a lot of stuff coming out nowadays is I think that it has like it, it genuinely has a charm to it which I appreciate I, I enjoyed it I could hear what we were trying to do there I could understand a lot of decisions we we're making I don't think there were any resonant well there might have been some resonant for a in the lower to mid range because of how tight things were like in that position there with a lot of elements there similar kind of obfuscating the vocals a little bit but but it was nice and loud without pumping i will also give a shout out to the foley of the rain at the start i thought that was an absolute master stroke there really clever idea to have the rhythm as the, the rain at the start the focal point of the track there as an instant kind of oh there's the rain kind of thing i think if you'd had it later on people might have been a little bit like oh well, okay, well hang on i don't understand what the rain has to do with this really but you make it clear for people and they'll be able to sort of vibe to it you know it was nice and loud without pumping so the bus compression limiting was handled I mean, effectively, this is my review of this track from an act named Jay Slow titled Rhythm of the Rain, and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go show us some love via the various social medias and YouTube page, and please stay, and stay cool, stay safe. Please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time, as need the hell more than ever thought of crazy stuff going on in the world, and I'll catch you in the next review. Spider Hands out.